Hey there! Welcome back to my channel. This may come as a surprise, but I am not actually saying this. This is the AI voice synthesis and cloning magic of Eleven Labs. Once you've navigated to the Eleven Labs website, you are greeted with a clean, instantly interactive demo. But I'll get back to that in a little bit. You can become more productive giving text-to-speech a more natural, humanized voice to your videos, games, audiobooks, and chatbots, amongst other varied uses, especially with their generative voice AI that spans across a multitude of languages. Now, going back to the interactive demo, you can check out a sample of the different language models by clicking a language and generating a random phrase. Let's try English. Love all, trust a few, do wrong to none. Now, Filipino. Ang mga bituin ay mas maliwanag sa pinakamadilim na gabi. Or Spanish. El ojo ve solo lo que la mente está preparada para comprender. Even better yet is you can type your own custom phrase and choose one of the pre-made voice models to generate a voice for your text-to-speech. For the demo on their page, you have a 333 character limit. I have something pre-copied, so I'll paste it here and choose Daniel as the model for my voice. The orca, or China's orca, also called killer whale, is a toothed whale belonging to the oceanic dolphin family of which it is the largest member. It is the only extant species in the genus Orchinus and is recognizable by its black and white patterned body. To download this generated audio file, simply click on this down arrow icon and save to your preferred location. If you need more than what the demo offers, we will first need to look at pricing. Under pricing, they have six subscription tiers. The first is the free tier, then they have starter, creator, independent publisher, growing business, and a custom quoted enterprise tier. We'll first look at the free tier, which has speech synthesis with no commercial license, 10,000 characters per month. You can create up to three custom voices, create random voices using voice design, generate voices in 28 languages and API access. Again, this is all included in the free tier. Later in the video, we'll sign up for the starter tier because it has everything in the free tier, 30,000 characters instead of 10,000. You can create up to 10 custom voices instead of three. A commercial license is included, and the best part, access to instant voice cloning. So first you'll need to sign up for an account by clicking on Sign Up in the top right corner. You can sign up with your Google account if you have one, or by email. I'll sign up by email for this video. Eleven Labs will then send you a confirmation email with a link you must click to verify your email address. So go ahead and do that by checking your email and clicking the Verify Email link. This will redirect you back to Eleven Labs, prompting that you log in once to verify your email address, click Close, and log in as requested. This will land you on the Speech Synthesis page. From here you can choose pre-made voice models under Settings. You can preview each by clicking on the play icon to the left of the name, and you'll have an idea of what to expect from the descriptive tags listed to the right of the name. I'll start off by choosing Arnold. Now, if you click on voice settings, you will see a few options we can change. If you aren't sure what each of these settings do, you can hover your mouse cursor on the little eye icon for more information. For example, the lower your stability, the more expressive the generated voice will be, and the output varies between regenerations. But if you go too low, the voice can become unstable, especially if you go into the red. And on the opposite side, if you increase your stability, the output will be more consistent with hardly any change between regenerations. However, the voice can be a bit monotone. 
Poor clarity and similarity enhancement going low is recommended if there are background artifacts in the generated speech. Going high can boost the voice clarity and target speaker clarity. However, going too high can introduce artifacts. Generally, I would say to keep this somewhere between 50 and the default 75. For style exaggeration, it says that high values are recommended if the style of the speech should be exaggerated compared to the uploaded audio. Higher values can lead to more instability in the generated speech. Setting this to zero will greatly increase generation speed and is the default setting. For example, here is exactly what I just said at 35% exaggeration. For style exaggeration, it says that high values are recommended if the style of the speech should be exaggerated compared to the uploaded audio. <laughs> or <laughs> higher values can lead to more instability in the generated speech. <laughs> setting this to zero will greatly increase generation speed and is the default setting. And what Speaker Boost does is boost the similarity of the synthesized speech and voice at the cost of some generation speed, which by default is checked, so I'll leave it as is. If you click on 11 Multilingual, you can see the different versions 11 Labs currently has. I personally would stick with the version 2, unless otherwise suggested when choosing the voice model. Notice that under the free tier, our per generation character limit is now at 2500 and as a reminder, our overall character usage limit is at 10,000. Let's test this out by typing up or pasting some text into the text box and clicking on Generate. The orca, Orcanus orca, also called killer whale, is a toothed whale belonging to the oceanic dolphin family, of which it is the largest member. If you like what you've generated, you can download the audio file by clicking on the down arrow icon at the bottom right to save it to your preferred location. Anyways, I will now experiment with a combination of changes to the settings and listen to what is generated. The orca, Orcanus orca, also called killer whale, is a toothed whale belonging to the oceanic dolphin family, of which it is the largest member. The orca, Orcinus orca, also called killer whale, is a toothed whale belonging to the oceanic dolphin family, of which it is the largest member. Here is one of those situations where a voice model recommends switching the 11 multilingual version. The orca, Orcanus orca, also called killer whale, is a toothed whale belonging to the oceanic dolphin family, of which it is the largest member. If you don't like any of the default voices in the settings, you can also add more by clicking the Add Voice button. From here, you can synthesize custom voices based on a few attributes you select. First click on the plus sign. For the free tier, only voice design and voice library are accessible. Clicking on voice design, you can customize the voice by attributes such as gender, age, accent, and accent strength. I'll experiment with a few of those now to see what they sound like. First we thought the PC was a calculator. Then we found out how to turn numbers into letters and we thought it was a typewriter. First we thought the PC was a calculator, then we found out how to turn numbers into letters and we thought it was a typewriter. First we thought the PC was a calculator, then we found out how to turn numbers into letters and we thought it was a typewriter. Once you're satisfied with your creation, click Use Voice. Next give it a name, then add tags and a description if you prefer. and click Create Voice. This is now added to your voice lab, which you can share with other users by clicking the Share button. But be aware that those that use your voice creation will reduce your used quota by one character per 11 characters they generate. Click the Edit button to adjust the name, tags, or description of your custom voice if needed. To actually use your new creation, click on Use and the speech synthesis page loads with your voice creation selected. The orca, or kinus orca, also called killer whale, 
is a toothed whale belonging to the oceanic dolphin family, of which it is the largest member. Now let's check out the voice library by clicking on Add Voice once more. Click the plus sign to add generative or cloned voice, then click on Voice Library. You can use the filters along the top to narrow down your selection of community-created voices. If you want to hear any of these before adding them to your voice lab to use yourself, click on the Sample button of any of the models. We should all be thankful for those people who rekindle the inner spirit. Now let's click back to Voice Lab and click on the plus sign again. This time we want to test out instant voice cloning, but to do this we'll need to upgrade our subscription plan to at least the starter tier. So click on your profile icon and click on subscription. On the subscription page you will see detailed information about your current subscription such as the current tier level, number of characters used, and the number of days before your usage is reset. Upgrade to Starter by clicking on its subscribe button, just like you should do for my channel to see any future videos I upload. I kid, but no really, subscribe! The payment page will then load, enter your payment info, and click subscribe. You may or may not need to log out and back into your 11labs account to refresh your subscription status. In any case, once upgraded and logged back in, click on add voice. Next, click on the plus sign, and as you can see, instant voice cloning is now available. Notice that it states to clone a voice from a clean sample recording. Samples should contain one speaker and be over one minute long and not contain background noise. Find a quiet place and you can record yourself talking freely for a minute, or my suggestion would be to find something to read aloud that will last about a minute or more and record that. If you're on Windows, you can use the built-in sound recorder. If you can't find a quiet place and have an NVIDIA RTX graphics card, I recommend using RTX Voice or Broadcast for real-time noise removal or AMD's noise suppression if you have their graphics card as your microphone source. Otherwise, you can download, install, and use something like Audacity, which is free and open source to record your voice, and use its noise reduction tool to improve the quality of your recording. Link to this will be in the description. For this demo, I will use Audacity. Once you have it up and running, click on Audio Setup to choose your correct microphone. Again, if you have the noise removal virtual microphones from either NVIDIA or AMD, choose those. Otherwise, choose whatever microphone you have and will reduce the noise after recording. Even though I have an RTX card, I will demonstrate with my regular microphone. For my sample, I have chosen to just pick an entry from Wikipedia to read aloud and record. So now I will pull up Audacity next to what I'll be reading, press the record button, and read for about a minute or so. Be sure to record a few seconds of ambient sound in the room you're recording from at the end, as this will be used to help in noise reduction. Then click Stop. The orca, or Kindness orca, also called killer whale, is a toothed whale belonging to the oceanic dolphin family, of which it's the largest member. And their reputation in different culture ranges from being the souls of humans to merciless killers. Now that we are done recording, we will try to reduce any noise that was recorded click and drag on the last few seconds of your recording of ambient noise. Then click on Effect from the toolbar, Noise Removal and Repair, and choose Noise Reduction. For step one, it states to select a few seconds of just noise, so Audacity knows what to filter out, then click Get Noise Profile. We've already did the selection part from step one, so we'll click on Get Noise Profile. Then we'll click the audio block on the left to select the entire audio track to apply the noise reduction to. Now go back to the noise reduction menu, and for step two, it states to select all of the audio you want filtered, choose how much noise you want filtered out from the settings below, then click OK to reduce noise. Again, we've already selected all the audio we want filtered, so adjust the settings to your liking and click on OK to apply the noise reduction. Play back the result if you want to hear the result to decide if you need to tweak it anymore. Otherwise, click on File Export 
and choose an export format. I will choose export audio, name my file, choose my save file type as M4A, and click save. Now go back to the 11 Labs voice lab and click on the plus sign. Click on instant voice cloning. Give the voice you are adding a name. Then click to upload the audio file we just recorded and saved from Audacity. If you have multiple recordings, upload those also for up to 25 samples. It reminds us that sample quality is more important than quantity. Under Labels, click the plus icon to add any labels if you prefer, as well as a description. Next, click the box to confirm you have all the rights or consents to the audio you are uploading and click Add Voice. Your voice model is now part of your voice lab to use. I'll now test mine out by copying and pasting an excerpt from another Wikipedia entry, make some adjustments, and generate. A supernova is a powerful and luminous explosion of a star. A supernova occurs during the last evolutionary stages of a massive star or when a white dwarf is triggered into runaway nuclear fusion. The original object, called the progenitor, either collapses to a neutron star or black hole, or is completely destroyed to form a diffuse nebula. The peak optical luminosity of a supernova can be comparable to that of an entire galaxy before fading over several weeks or months. Again, if you'd like to download your generated audio, just click the down arrow icon at the bottom right, choose your preferred location, and click Save. Well, that is it for now. Hopefully you found this video useful. If so, please hit that like button and subscribe. I appreciate each of you that have helped me get to my first 1,000 subscribers, and thanks for watching.